Well, I am here in Cincinnati, Ohio, checking out one of the largest cemeteries in the world, Spring Grove Cemetery and Arboretum. Back during the cholera epidemic here in the city, a group formed to try to create a more beautiful space for burials. And so they formed in 1844, what is now Spring Grove Cemetery. So we are walking over the Strelk Bridge to Strelk Island. This is where the main architect who designed the cemetery is buried. He saw a space that he wanted to be beautiful and minimalistic and wanted as many flush markers as possible. So they're very minimal, large upright stones so that you can really enjoy just the beauty of the cemetery while you're here visiting. There are a lot of notable people buried here in the cemetery. A lot of them are notable within the Cincinnati area, um, former senators, um, Civil War, war heroes that are all buried here. One of those notable names is Julian Fleischmann. You may have seen his name at the grocery store on those little bottles of yeast, Fleischmann yeast. Um, also well known in the stock market and for numerous other things. family monument and they have a bell and we have heard that they love if you ring the bell so we're gonna ring the bell for the Gettler maybe oh. hey, hey. So I'm out here just walking in this little grove and there's talk of a weeping statue or weeping angel and I think this is the one that they are talking about. So we are here at the Norman Chapel on the cemetery property 
And this is like a photographer's dream chapel. And there's been years they've done more weddings actually than funerals in here. Um, and I'm pretty sure you can imagine what wedding photography with the bride and groom standing in the archways and walking down the aisle would look like. It's gorgeous. So you forget you're in a cemetery because of the natural beauty of the stonework and the flowers and the arboretum and historical of this space. This chapel, all of the archways are done with a different pattern. All of the brickwork is unique in each column. A lot of detail and work has gone into building this chapel and maintaining it over the years, especially through the floods. experienced a huge flood. This spot in the cemetery denotes on the building how high the water actually was during those floods. the Dexter family mausoleum. I have read articles calling it the Gothic Chapel, but this is actually a mausoleum owned by the Dexter family. So it was built so they would, the men would bring the coffin in through this lower area, which is where the Crips mausoleums are inside. And then so the women would promenade up here and meet the men inside with the coffin for the service. It is amazing. I, I keep using the same words, but this whole place is just beyond phenomenal.
Adolf's vision has maintained over the years. This whole cemetery has remained picturesque and beautiful. As you drive through the over 40 miles of roadway, you can stop and take in over a thousand species of flowers and trees, all the architecture of the stones and the buildings, the mausoleums that are here is, is breathtaking, truly. They are so ornate, you forget you are in a cemetery and it is more like a museum, a place to showcase these works of art and these moments of life from over decades. I'm standing here out on a expanse of lawn and this space was created and it will maintain having no burials on it. There is a gazebo at the far end that you, you can hold events. Um, there's music throughout the summers and this lawn becomes a community space here that people can come and gather. They have community events here all year long multiple 5k runs um, they have a classic car show coming up soon they do all sorts of events along with events for those that are buried here they do a large memorial um, lantern lighting out on one of the lakes that are here there's 14 lakes within this space just to tell you how large it is so there is much to see here. I've been here for a few hours and I, I feel like I've only scratched the surface of the beauty of this cemetery. So I am sure there will be a part two of this because I cannot even, I cannot even get to the whole cemetery today to photograph and to look at all the space. Well, I have checked out and looked at so many amazing headstones and places within the cemetery today. The history that is here, the lives that were lived. I wish I could learn even a moment more about each of the spots that I stopped at. Some of the little valleys within the, the walk areas that you walk down into and they're so peaceful. And the sun's coming through the trees and there's shadows and there's just these moments where you feel like you're in a space that has presence. It's so hard to explain. But it is such a peaceful, beautiful place to come to, to wander, to see the trees and the plants, and to find the architecture of the headstones and the monuments. So if you are at all even a little bit of a taphophile, this is a place you must get to. Here at Spring Grove Cemetery in Cincinnati, Ohio, huge thank you to the staff here, to Irene for driving me around, pointing out some things I probably would have missed if I drove myself and for showing me some of the amazing chapels and mausoleums. So thanks guys and I will see you on our next cemetery tour. Bye.